Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing another bargain or bust. So basically what that is, is I go on a sale page of a retailer. Today it's going to be Neiman Marcus. And I go through and I tell you whether or not the deals are worth it or not. So if you would like to see my thoughts on the current items on sale at Neiman Marcus, then just keep watching. So I know I just started this series like three days ago, but time is of the essence. I don't know when this sale is going to end and it's a really, really good sale. I haven't looked too much into it, so I'm going to be window shopping kind of with you as well. As you know, Neiman Marcus has brands like Chantecaille, Givenchy, Le Mer, brands that I'm not as well versed in, brands that Michelle Wong knows everything about, not me. So this one isn't going to be as factual as maybe Sephora, where I'm very familiar with almost all of the items there. Here, I'm also kind of looking through and talking things through so I also kind of want to look at and see what I want because 25% off some of these brands is a deal that you don't see a lot. Neiman Marcus is having 25% off of select beauty items which is an incredible deal. I did see that Neiman Marcus filed for bankruptcy. I don't know if that's like true or not. I didn't look too far into it but I did hear of some sort of bankruptcy thing going on. I'm assuming that has to do with the sale. I don't know but let's take a look. So I downloaded the Neiman Marcus app for this video. Like I said, I might scroll through things that might be interesting or a talking point, but honestly, I'm not as familiar with this Lux Lux makeup. So the first thing that I see is the Givenchy Tante Couture Healthy Glow Bronzing Powder. This is on sale for $39. 75 and I think that's a really good deal. I've heard a lot of good things about this bronzer So I personally have not tried it, but that is something that I am eyeing up for sure Oh, did you guys see this the Kosas super creamy and brightening concealer? I actually ordered this for the Sephora sale so that will be in a future video but this is technically better than the deal at Sephora because that's 20% off and you have to be rouge for 20% off anyways so if you're not rouge and you want the Kosas concealer, definitely get it here because it's 25% off. The concealer is going to be $21. Again, I haven't tried it, but I did order it because I heard good things about it. Since I ordered it, I figured I would talk about that. We have some Sigma Beauty on sale. So you'll see some stuff is on sale, some isn't. I struggled to find the actual all on sale page. Oh, the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. $28 is what the price is and I think 28 is much more worth it than 38. I don't think this concealer is for everybody. It doesn't have much coverage. So if you're looking for a concealer with coverage, this ain't even worth it. But if you like a really lightweight, natural, glowy concealer, I do recommend this concealer. I do like it. Today I'm wearing it I'm on top of a corrector and it is very nice so I like it I don't love it I think that $28 is much more fair compared to 38 oh this is an incredible deal this is 50% off the Marc Jacobs iconic multi finish eye palette limited edition and fantasine this is so pretty and it's only $25 I actually really do like the Marc Jacobs formula I don't collect them or anything but this is a really good deal and that's really good and he has a very very good formula 50% off wow we have the eye quads from the Chantecaille limited edition collection that came out so hummingbird is on sale. This is for $54. I haven't tried this, but I actually am very interested in trying this. It is so pretty and I love the packaging of it. I say that's definitely a bargain for Chantecaille in the cute packaging. Can't speak on the formula, but it looks really, really nice. Oh, and this is definitely a bargain. The Dior Lip Glow Oils, $25. Highly, highly recommend those. Definitely pick those up. It's so nourishing. It's not too slick, but it's also not too sticky. It has the perfect amount of staying power. It's a different formula compared to a lot of oils I have tried, but I like it a lot. It's really thick. Okay, let's talk about these really quick. The Dior eyeshadow palettes from their Glow Vibes collection. Both of the colors are on sale. Blue Beat, which isn't pulling up 
and pink vibration but they are $47 I think these are a bust personally I paid full price for both and I think they were okay but Dior shadows just from my experience it's really hit or miss and for me these were a miss they were fine they were okay in pigmentation but I just don't think $47 for the quad is worth it so for me this is a bust it doesn't suck but it's not very good you can also get your hands on the Dior forever skin correct concealer for $27 definitely a bargain. I would recommend this one over the Giorgio Armani and it's just a really good deal that you can't even get at Sephora right now. Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer is $25. I personally didn't like this concealer but if you were interested in trying it, here's the opportunity. The Tom Ford Illuminating Primer. This is on sale for $57. I'm in between with this. I got this primer on sale. I really love it. I think it adds such a beautiful luminous glow to the skin. However, Still $57, I don't think it's worth it. I think you can find illuminating primers at a cheaper price point, but if you like Tom Ford and you like the Tom Ford experience, it's good and this is a great time to purchase it, but I don't think it's worth it, but I do at the same time. I'm kind of in between on that one. Tom Ford Extreme Eye Quad, this is the badass no, it is not even worth $66. This is a bust. The shadows in here are not reminiscent of the normal Tom Ford formula. This is the only quad from Tom Ford that I've had that kind of formula from, and it sucks, really. This is a bad quad. It's not worth $66. That's definitely a bust. In case you're curious, the cream and powder eyeshadows from Tom Ford are really nice. I still don't know if I'd recommend it for $48 if you're on a budget. These are something that I personally would purchase though. If you have the money, I think $48, definitely go for it. But at the end of the day, it's a little pot with a powder on top. So $48 is still a lot in the grand scheme of things for what it is. But if you're into luxe makeup, they are very, very good. None of the Chanel stuff is on sale. Oh, also just FYI, the Soleil Eye Color Quads are $61 on Neiman Marcus. I don't know if they'll still be in stock, but two of them are. So I definitely think those are a bargain. Highly recommend those. And the Tom Ford Soleil Glow Stick, I talked about that in my Sephora one as well. Definitely worth it. I don't know what this is. The Chantecaille Eclat Limited Edition, it's $70. And this looks like something that is seriously something that I don't need, but I really want because the packaging just looks incredible. Can't tell you if you need it or not, never tried it, but it looks awesome. How pretty does this look from Lancome? This is the Color Design Eyeshadow Palette with Mini Primer. Oh, that looks adorable. I feel like that Lancome really does come out with some cute, pretty things sometimes, but I never buy from them. I don't know why, but that does look very interesting. Looks like all of the Marc Jacob ones are 50% off. Lots of it is. I'm sorry. I wish I had more experience to really help you guys with some of these products. Michelle, you need to cover this topic. See, this... <laughs> This just looks cheap to me. I don't know, Dior. $46, doesn't that look cheap and with boring colors? I haven't tried it, so I can't speak on the quality, but that looks highly uninteresting to me. Ooh, the Tom Ford Boys and Girl Lips Colors are on sale for 27. This is a good time to get your hand on Tom Ford lipsticks if you've been wanting. They're that great Italian formula that are just perfection. Ooh, guys, here's a really good bargain. These Chantecaille Luminescent Eye Shades are incredible. I paid $52 for two of them. $40 definitely is a bargain, I would say, because these are so pretty. I recommend the Elephant and the Pangolin colors, personally. I wish they would show you, but all of them are so beautiful on the eyelid. Highly recommend those if you're interested. Oh, also, I talked about this in my Sephora video that these were only, were these 50% off? I don't know, but these are $25. I said it was a bust. I've never used these personally, but it just, it feels like something that I don't need in my collection. So for me, it would be a bust. But some of you guys talked about how you purchased them. So there, it's only $24.50, but for me, it's just not something that I need. But it might be something you're interested in. Who am I to say? The Tom Ford Emotion Proof Eye Colors are pretty good. I do like them a lot. They have a lot of pretty colors as well. I only own one. I can't even remember what color, but 
$34, that's a really good bargain. So if you're looking into those, those little individual things add up fast as far as price. So it's a great time to get those while those are on sale. The Soleil Glow Bronzer from Tom Ford for $56. This is a bomb bronzer. Definitely a bargain. Definitely can't get that at Sephora right now. Highly recommend that. Sorry I'm like scrolling over all of these brands it's just that i'm not as familiar with these brands so i'm more so just talking about things that i know that i like because i don't want to lead you in the wrong direction you have to take a look yourself but oh my gosh it seems like everything is on sale it's gonna take me years to go through all of this bobby brown shimmer bricks those are a classic oh that sicily blush looks incredible tom ford lipsticks the sigma brow stuff is pretty good they sent me their collection a while ago is this on sale? Ugh, I don't know how it's not. This is horrible. That wouldn't be worth it ever, even if it was on sale. However, the Power Fabric Concealer from Armani, definitely one of my all-time favorite concealers. $25, heck yes. Ooh, Hourglass Ambient Strobe Blushes. I'm excited to see this on sale for $30. Hourglass has the best blush formula, in my opinion. The absolute best, top of the line best in the game. Definitely a bargain. You can also get their foundation. I heard not good things about that though. Ooh, the Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lip Colors. I really enjoy the ones that I have. They're not like a liquid lipstick. It's more of a gloss. They're on sale for 27 or sorry, they're on sale for $20. That's a really good bargain. My favorite colors are Hippie Shake and East Coast Slay. Those are the two best. Great time to get your Estee Lauder foundation. Hmm. Lots of Surat. I've actually never tried Surat before. Do they have my color in stock? No, they don't. If you can find Sugar Sugar on sale, check it out. That's the best. Also, if you missed out on the glow drops, I haven't tried these, but $35? That's really good. I'm sorry, I was more fun on Sephora when I knew this stuff. <gasps> Ooh, this is one of my favorite blush palettes from Sigma, and it's $36. Ooh, if you can get that, definitely do because I love that blush palette. They also have this sculpt and contour. I've never tried that. Also, the Hourglass Ultra Slim High Intensity Refillable Lipsticks. Fantastic. $27. Yes, please. That great formula from Italy. The best. The Givenchy Tante Couture Shimmer Face Highlight for $31. These are beautiful highlights. I don't have any of the shades Oh, I have shimmery gold. Shimmery gold is really pretty. Shimmery pink is catching my eye. I used to not like pink highlights. I kind of like them a little bit more now. $31, that's a great deal for this beautiful luxe highlighter. Some of the original prices of this stuff are so scary. I don't shop at Neiman Marcus very often. Like, Chantecai kind of scares me. And I know I spend a lot of money on stuff, but like, lots of RMS beauty, Dior. I mean, I feel like you guys are getting the gist. Basically, everything luxurious is on sale. I did see, and it's just gonna take me years to scroll through, but I did see the La Mer the powder is on sale. I highly recommend that setting powder. It's one of my all-time favorites. There's just something about the way that it sinks into the skin and sets the makeup that is really unique. La Mer skincare is also on sale. I don't really like their scented stuff. I felt like it kind of made my sensitive skin not happy. But if you are into trying out some high-end luxe skincare, this is the time to do it. I would say for me, from what I've seen from this, and I'm sorry I didn't do a very good job voicing that because I was overwhelmed by the amount of stuff, but basically anything luxury that you wanted at Sephora, don't get it there. <laughs> get it at Neiman Marcus or anything super luxe. Now is your chance to do it except for Chanel. Chanel's not on sale. My recommendations probably, let's see. The Chantecai stuff looks fabulous. I haven't tried Chantecai, so I can't give any direct recommendations. Tom Ford, look into their highlighters, the quads that are on sale, those Soleil Neige quads, and then those Chantecai single eyeshadows are one of my favorite kind of single eyeshadows that you can purchase. Following this video I really searched and I added items to my car I thought I would show you I have that Guerlain foundation this Marc Jacobs palette Chantecai quad another luminescent eyeshade I love Chantecai lipsticks I want that pink shimmer from Givenchy the Kosas face oil the Chantecai blushes look stunning 
another Kosas product that's just free with your order, a Chantikai Happy Cheek Gelee and refreshing my Bobbi Brown Art Sticks and the Chantikai Future Skin Foundation. I don't think I'll actually get this stuff, but I filled my cart for fun. So this was more of an overview, not really getting deep into it because there's just too much to go through. But I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me, looking at the sales section, kind of working through things with me. I know after this, I'm going to kind of look and see if there's anything that catches my eye for me to purchase. That is all I have for today's bargain or bust. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you check out the sale for yourself to see if there's anything that you're interested in. So make sure if you see a sale, you keep me up to date in case I miss it so that potentially I can be here as a resource to help you. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you guys take the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.